Hello everybody, welcome to Creative Chess Channel and today is my best game of title Tuesday. So I was playing white against a Canadian national master and uh, I started with e4 and he plays Sicilian defense, which is uh, widely spread, of course. And uh, today is not neither variation, but uh, variation with knight to c6. He played knight c3. I played knight c3, he played e5, and uh, knight d to b5. And here I was expecting something like d6, uh, but uh, he played uh, a very uh, quite strange move. Uh, actually, it was played several times. For example, uh, in the game of Peter Leko against uh, uh, Novikov Stanislav, who is a grandmaster from Russia. Uh, and uh, in this variant, Leko played like this, and after a6, there was this exchange. And uh, after queen to e7, they exchanged queens, and uh, so the, they played the game something like that. You see that uh, white has two bishops, uh, and uh, white's position is better. Uh, I didn't know that, but I think I played... Uh, nicely because here after h6 i decided uh, to check immediately but uh, after queen to e7 as i don't like trading the queens and don't uh, didn't want to play end game i decided just to retreat which is not the best move of course here but anyway i prefer uh, to attack that's why it's better to leave the queens for me so he castled bishop to e2 you see he's pre preparing d5 and that's why i decided to stop him from this uh, playing bishop to f3 so anyway for him it was the best to play d5 here because uh, after capturing for example he might have played uh, this variant uh, and uh, so his position is better now but uh, he became afraid of this and uh, played another variant, just uh, calmly, quietly, d6. Castle, and uh, bishop to e6, now for sure he's going to play d5. Uh, I can't stop him, um, but the only move for where I can stop him is knight to d5. That's why I, I play this move. Captured, captured, and uh, uh, knight goes to d4. Uh, thanks God, this uh, knight is not forever here. That's why I played c3 to expel him. And uh, you see, after the opening, uh, my position, I didn't like that because it's too simple. Um, maybe it's not bad, it's uh, equal, but anyway. So he played uh, rook to c8. I protected the pawn. And uh, he played a4. And uh, I played uh, a queen to g3. Now I'm threatening. Simple move. Uh, that's why he played king to h7. Uh, now uh, I'm de developing my pieces. And he goes a very, very bad move. Actually, uh, it's a mistake. But uh, guys, can you please find yourself? What should I have played here? What should I play here and how not to, to win, but here it's already plus one, but actually he didn't even notice this and uh, uh, lost the game on spot. So what was uh, my attack and uh, what I spotted here in the situation? So I spotted uh, one thing that after bishop to b6, you see I'm attacking the pawn and the rook. And I actually, I... I thought that he would play like this to protect everything and so he did this but unfortunately for him there is a nice move queen to d3 i'm attacking his king and his rook uh, he uh, played this move now his uh, rook is protected but it's a pin a three and actually in this position after a couple of moves here is end. there is no way to protect uh, the rook, of course, and next uh, next move I'll just take it. So that's uh, the game, uh, which was quite nice, quite short, but at the same time quite interesting and shows that we should uh, 
uh, they should do a lot of tactics to be able to see it. So guys, thanks for watching me. Please subscribe to my channel. See you in my next videos and bye-bye.